Uh, so we've been given a lift up to Lahitch on the Lahitch Road and it is a wild road and we're coming in this ladder with this great man who's um, working up there so he's given us a lift up to Lahitch. Slides everywhere. Luckily, it's not raining at the moment. This road's just getting wilder and wilder. What do you think, Mandy? Do you like it? Yeah, no. <laughs> not so good. The driver's been very careful, so that's good. Yeah. We made it to La Hitch, and uh, it wasn't too bad a ride in the end, was it, Mandy? Not as bad as I was what do you think? fearing. It's really kind gentleman who just stopped and said, like, I'm going to take you for nothing, just get on board. And yeah. um, he was good, wasn't he? Really cool. Yeah, he kind of didn't, um, he was driving like a maniac at first, and then when we explained that Mandy's a little bit nervous, he kind of calmed down and went really slow and stopped to get water and um, what else did we pointed out things of interest yeah uh, stuck for photos and stuff like that and now he's just dropped us off at the junction of Lahitch and now uh, we're gonna head off up and try and find the homestay that we're planning to stay in which is just up here wandering around the cobbled streets of Lahitch quite a few mosques here and uh, always surrounded by mountains in the background what a pretty place Below La Hitch, and uh, quite a wide area, and I'm sure the water will be a lot higher come the rainy season. And there's some pretty mountains around La Hitch and La Hitch Village over there. It's nice and down here, and uh, panning round. Then we look over to the mountains, Mount Babadag is uh, further up over there in the distance, and uh, that's on towards Shinalik and Dagestan. This smell good, yeah. So we're walking down the main street of La Hitch. Lots of little Aladdin's caves of uh, metalwork and interesting souvenir places because uh, this village is famous for its coppersmiths. Um, so people come here to buy incredible works it's a nice environment to walk around in and the, the masters the coppersmith guys are just fantastic at what they do some of the samovars we've seen have just been out of this world Incredible in La Hitch, and I've just walked into oh. this is an Aladdin's cave to be sure. Some of us, oh. hundreds, maybe a hundred, some of us, oh. some in good condition, but a lot of them have problems similar to ours. The spouts come off, oh. they look a bit sad, worse for the wear. So, once the gentleman's off his phone, I'm going to try really hard with the help of Google Translate to find out exactly how they will get fixed. Look at, oh, the cockerel. The cockerel up there is well. so beautiful. They're amazing. Для чайника нужно немножко Уже хорошо. Хорошо. Happy that? Yeah. Хорошо. Yeah. Отлично. Just walked into a veritable Aladdin's cave of delicious teas, we think. Only you could smell what we can smell right now. Just beautiful. So many things. And they sell some of ours, so it's another reason we're pretty sure. Okay, 
pretty sure it's tea related. Isn't that the one that helps you get to sleep? What's it called? What's it called? Chamomile. And it goes round. We've got there, Brian, looking at things, and all these teas. I think it's um, hibis, not hibiscus. Honestly, wish I knew a bit more of this. This is fantastic. And Lahitch, definitely somewhere to come to for all your tea purchases. Some of ours are over there. Stunning. There's a fun thing to do in Lahitch in the afternoon. Had a really nice chat with this guy at the Mashrutka stop earlier. He was loads of information, told us he was a barber and we need two manat to get a haircut, so Lisa decided to come in and get it all cut off. <laughs> Finishing touches with the Okay. Good old yellow sponge. Not sure what's happening now. I think Lee had said to leave the beard, but the cutthroat rays has come out and you're looking rather professional. Oh, that's to do the back, which has already been beautifully. Very scary, yeah, won't get too close. So we've met the loveliest puppy. Well, she's yeah. a bit older than a puppy. <laughs> and he thought, oh, I don't know, he'd take, put his foot over to her. And yeah, so now she's got a great new game. Of course, you can't pet dogs, unfortunately, just in case they bite or lick. We've given her, we've shared our lunch with her. Had some lovely cheese and bread, and she enjoyed that. And now she's having a great time playing with Lee. We've got a friend for life. Friend we? for life. She's yeah. so beautiful. Oh, really playful and just lovely. She's she's barked at one local guy and she's scared of one local woman. It's just weird, I don't know, unease people here feel around dogs. They love cats, but they tend to be a bit strange with dogs. Oh, here she comes. Look at her. So beautiful. So we're back at the roundabout at Ishmaeli. Uh, we spent a bit of time here the other day. Um, two days ago we were here for about two hours waiting to go to La Hitch and then walking up the street got a lift with the guy. Really cool. But so today we've got the bus from La Hitch um, to Ishmaili and Mashutka. It left at 8.30, dead on time, got here at 9.18, waiting for a bus to Sheki. It's 10.18 and so far we haven't seen a single one. Apparently they all come from Baku, so even if they left at 7am we might be waiting like at least another hour. It's a lovely sunny day, taxi drivers, are, they're not too bad. They're pretty mellow, yeah. We've spoken to some friendly truck drivers, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, they offered to uh, take us for tea, didn't they? But yeah. we says, no, we better not, because we yeah. might need the toilet. They yeah, understood that. Chai, toilet. Yeah, problem. <laughs> yeah. So and we're laugh. just hanging out by the uh, petrol station and by the <laughs> junction and uh, the truck pack over this way. Yeah, and, uh, the yeah. Is, there is a big fancy bus station down there. I'll, I'll, I'll take your photo, but um, the only buses leaving from there go to Baku, and that's it. Nothing to Sheki, nothing to Lachage. Okay, it's all really so strange. we'll just sit here. We might be here all day, mightn't we? <laughs> <laughs>